what we have here is a vintage Kenwood stereo cassette tape deck model KX710 dual VU meters auto tape select it's like chrome metal stuff like that ALC memory Dolby FM copy Dolby noise reduction record levels output no soft eject here button button buttons record there's your main power button here Dolby noise reduction LEDs a peak and record tape counter it doesn't run at the moment needs a belt at least a casting belt I already took it apart see under here a little bit of remains of a belt on this motor pulley here it's kind of sticky I think this is the tape counter belt or rewind belt I got a belt kit for it here's all the electronics over here fuse come up here here's the motor capstan see so you got pieces of the belt on it which have turned to goo here's part of one of them your main capstan belt is gooey to take this out move three screws and this comes out then this just lifts out as one assembly I got belts for it so I'm gonna go ahead clean this off get rid of the old belt residue put a new belt on it and we'll see if it plays normally there'll be a cover on here with a vent like that over the motor the motors here remove these screws here then this just comes off if I can get my hands in here now and I said remove the three screws one two three and that allows you to remove the capstan so you got a belt there you got the main capstan belt I think there's other belts in here too but I don't see them at the moment so I'll just go ahead and replace the capstan belt this one's still fine it's stretchy it's tight I'll leave that one alone but I gotta go ahead and clean all this tar off of here so I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll see what happens all right the capstan pulley cleaned up nicely used the utility knife there scraped off the old belt then took this ray soaked it in some isopropyl alcohol and just scrubbed it and got all the residue off of it so now that's nice and clean so I got lucky on that now I'm gonna turn my attention to this motor pulley see what see what kind of hell that's gonna give me to clean Okay, it's hard to see if I can zoom in that's another belt right there it's also turned to goo so the fun part is trying to figure out how to access that belt somehow I gotta take all this whole mechanism apart to access that belt so I gotta figure out how to do that although maybe if I can at least get it to play you know who needs it to rewind or fast forward as long as it plays but I have to look down a service manual or something to see exactly how this comes apart. Well, I didn't get it on camera, but I took these off, took this off, pulled this out, this whole little mechanism. I don't know where the other belt goes on here, or I can't really access it. So I just put the one belt back on. This one's still good. So I cleaned this off the best I could to get most of the uh, tar residue off that I could see. So once that dries, I'll put this back in, put the capstan belt on, and le then we'll see if it will at least play. They make these things overly complicated. They're not designed to be serviced by amateurs. All the springs are back in the best I could do. So, like I said, once it dries, I'll put the new capstan belt on and give it a whirl. Alright, got the new capstan belt on. This is rebolted down. See there? Similar to an A track player, how you got the capstan reel and you got the motor. So you got the flat belt. It's staying on. So you know it's aligned properly. So before I put this back on, 
Let's go ahead and power it up and see if everything's aligned up correctly and see if it even plays. Well, some success. Yeah, play. Captain's turning now. See the pinch roller. But it's not, the take up spool is not rotating. But it rewinds. Fast forwards. That's all I'm getting out of it. So I need that one belt which I can't access. So, somewhat working, but still not playing. Alright, one last update before I take this in for service. You got this white thing on here. It almost looks like it'd be a pulley for that small belt, which I'll find in a minute. Now, I'm thinking it'll rise, rise on the tape pulley from there to here, but then if I hit the play button, see how that moves in, so then that's blocking the belt. So I can't see it going from here to there. I put this one on. There's this little skinny belt here goes from this tape reel to somewhere over here. This is the small one here. Because I found remnants of this one over here somewhere. So it probably goes from here to something over here, I think. But I don't know. I'm looking at the uh, service manual, but it doesn't really show you how to work on it. It just shows you like parts and stuff, but it doesn't show you like how the, where the belts go. So I'll take this in for service tomorrow. Today's Friday. They're closed now. I'll drop it off there tomorrow. And then there'll be an, up, an update on when this thing's up and running. It needs to be professionally cleaned anyway because it's dirty. So I've done all I can. I've taken this mechanism apart a thousand times. I've done what I can. Now it's up to the professionals.